My hair oh, looks yeah. really bright. It is hella blonde. I think that is the proper name for it. Hella blonde. Hella blonde. My name is Aaron Brock, and I am a viner. Here you go, babe. These flowers are a symbol of my love for you. These flowers are dead. Vine is a app for your phone, a, so a smartphone. It can be for an Android or an iPhone, and it's to make six second videos. When Vine first came out, I thought it just sounded like a really cool app because it was videos. The original intent of Vine was just to be like another social media platform, kind of like Instagram, where you just document your life, but instead of in pictures or in words, you're gonna do it in videos. Could somebody please pray for my girl Erin? Nothing wrong with her. She just looked like a butternut squash. When people ask me, some people are like, what are your like, why are you inspired to make vines? I'm like, you know, this, me making vines is not this big, huge, lifelong discovery I'm making. I'm, I'm doing it because it's fun. Coming to KU already with a following was, my first thing is that I'm in the marching band here, and so I decided I'm not gonna tell anyone. Near the end of the week for band camp, they found me. Erin, um, I saw you on the Vine popular page, and then I went to your profile, and you've clearly been hiding out that uh, there are thousands and thousands of people who follow you. I was like, Yep. College dorms smell like pizza and sadness. Also weed. Um, I have two friends who at the beginning of the year had come up to me and been like, hey, not to be weird, but like we recognize you as Itty Babe from Fine, like it's really cool to meet you. I can't really tell you the true origin of my username. I've always liked the term babe because I think it's like cute, but like, I like to consider myself fairly idiotic at times, and so I thought it would be funny to put the two together, and then it's kind of stuck. I only like girls with like the natural look. All right, bitch, you see this shit? I could stab you with this. I'm not really worried about content coming back to hurt me. I credit my parents with teaching me like what would be what's good to put online, what isn't good to put online. And I know like a rule of thumb used to be if you didn't want your parents to see it, you probably shouldn't post it. Yeah, I met this girl on Twitter. We're actually becoming really close. Oh cool, like what's her name? Emo Gluter comes up maybe 69. <laughs> I don't know. I think it might be funny like to look back when I'm older and be like, you were just a stupid fuck when you were 18. Like I think it's funny. I think it's more gonna be cool to be like, look at this snapshot of your life, especially because you can look back at videos and see me growing up almost. And I like that I had a high school to college transition through my vines because I definitely think I'm a totally different person than I was about a year ago. And rather than being ashamed, I think I'm just going to think it's funny and be able to be like, especially if I ever have kids one day, be like, hey guys, your mom was just dumb, just like you are. <laughs> bitch, bitch, bitch. I made you my bitch, Jesse. Bitch, bitch. Yeah, bitch, Jesse. Bitch.